What is going on, everybody? If you're looking to find out what's happening in the Luna Classic universe, relax, baby birds. I'll feed you. We're going to figure out what's happening here. Why are we getting a tiny little pump here? Why didn't we get the move to 96 that I told you guys, I was pretty sure that it, it was going to be four zeros, 95, 87, that we would retrace from there, probably down into that four zeros, nine range before moving up. Now, what happened? Well, the move happened. It just didn't go as high as I thought. Now, could it be because the market just wasn't ready for that move? I mean, it's possible, um, but, but we're going to break all this down for you. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in because, hey, I'm a doctor, a doctor of thugonomics. All right, guys, let's kick off the important part here. Lunk burn mechanism revised. Binance increases support for Terra Luna Classic. Now, is any of this true? I'm not really sure exactly how this is playing out. We don't have any clarity at this point. Binance is reported to have likely reversed its Terra Luna Classic burn mechanism after sealing its dominance as the largest contributor with 64.47 billion. Now, that won't last. At some point, Terraform Labs becomes the biggest burner because they have so much of the supply for, a, and it'll probably be for a long period of time. But according to reports, the exchange subjected the tokens to multiple burns this month against the initially scheduled number of monthly burns. Now, we're about seven days out, eight days out from the next big burn. We don't know how much that's going to be, but it seems like they might be interested in doing a little bit of that transactionally. So we could be seeing a little bit more burn than what we would normally see. Now, whether that happens or not, we don't know, but there will be some rampant speculation from a lot of people. So we'll keep, we'll, we're going to be watching this every single day to try to see what's going on. And I think, listen, I think Binance has noticed how much burn is actually happening in this market right now. And they're seeing all of these different burns that are happening through Luna Classic. And I think that might maybe not get them excited, but give them an idea that, hey, if we want our dominance to continue, maybe we need to contribute just a little bit more in terms of burns. Now, they could be just burning the entire fees that they make or something like that. I'm not really sure. We'll get some clarification as soon as we can. But um, to give you some background, Binance announced in 2022 it would undergo major changes in burning lunk trading fees as part of its continued contribution. This implied that 50% of the lunk spot and margin trading fees would be burnt instead of 100%. In addition, it was announced that sending the lunk trading fee burn contribution would be delayed until 1 March 2023 uh, to be excluded from now being reminted. Uh, one observation was that Binance frequently burned Terra Luna Classic on the first day of every month. However, this pattern suddenly changed as the exchange burned the token six times this month. So what are we looking at? Why is there a change? So we'll see what happens here. In its recent 25th batch, the burn mechanism reported by CNF, Binance burned 1.19 billion lunk tokens with $97,000 in trading fees between July 31st and August 29th. That was at the beginning of this month. In addition to the main burn, it burned an additional 199,000 in five separate transactions until now. So those are very small amounts. So there's a question as to what it is that's causing it. So again, we're gonna look into this and we'll figure it out for you as we know. Now, for Commonwealth, there's no real new discussions here to be had. There's some updates on some of these, so I would encourage you to go read these at your own leisure. Uh, as far as meme coins go, meme coins still kind of meandering, if you will. We're just waiting for that next big move. And I, I, I would just get a real sense here. And look, I'm a professional. So um, what I think is happening here is I think we're just ready for that next big consolidation move, as you can see. Uh, Luna Classic, uh, you know, I got about 10 million. Again, I haven't staked any more uh, Luna Classic. I'm actually waiting for some of my other uh, to unstake so that I can redelegate it back to people that I trust. Um, because, you know, I think that people like all nodes, stuff like that. I remove my stake from all nodes uh, and a couple of other ones because they're not voting the way that I want them to vote. So I'm going to su submit mine to people who are part of that ecosystem that are doing what I would like. And I would encourage you to do the same. And if you already have that, then congratulations and shout out to you because you made it. So Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit, you will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000 credited in the native token of your deposit. The way that this works is number one, make a deposit or create a launch pool contract. Number two, enjoy your staking benefits. And number three, receive a random bonus directly to your deposit. The higher the stake, the greater the potential for reward. 
All right, folks, we're going for six months this time, 29.6 APY on this one. We're going to put in 0.2 Bitcoin. Contract has been created. We're going to earn a 29.6% reward. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. If you are interested in high yield rewards from a platform in order to further your crypto adventure, whatever your journey might be, then Cryptonomy.finance is the place for you. And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. The ROIs are phenomenal and they continue to yield new funds. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start. Uh, Terra, by the way, up 5% in its pairing with Lunk today. Uh, Tesla X, I, I saw this one the other day, seems to be ripping along. Uh, Jupiter is moving up 226% in its pairing with Luna Classic. It's a big move. It's a big, bold move, as a matter of fact. So, um, meme coins, not exactly popping off, but we're seeing a little bit of activity here, and uh, that's a good thing. That's a, that's a good thing. We want this ecosystem to thrive, and we might be at the spot where we start to see something like that happen. Now, as far as voting goes, uh, you can see here that Jay, Happy Caddy Crypto, put up another proposal for that mirror protocol burn, uh, 46 million uh, USTC. Now, Here's the part uh, that, that, that really matters here. Uh, right now, we've got no with veto 94.67%. Uh, That's not exactly, um, uh, it, it sounds like a lot, but if you look here, there's no yeses. Uh, there's two no's, but there's Jesus is Lord immediately no with veto, and there's no abstaining. But, um, you know, here's the question. The question is why or what are they doing? You know, what is, uh, you know, what is going on here? And, and really what it is is... Um, uh, th this, you know, we, we did the 726. And look, it, it, it seems irrelevant to me. I'm not dumping on it. I think that, that Jay's trying to do um, the, the best he can for the chain when there's an opportunity that presents itself. But also, we need to give Terraform Labs a chance to screw it up. And when I gave you this yesterday, I pointed out to you there was already 8.19, like 726 million tokens that already been removed from the the flow through from Genuine Labs. If you remember, Genuine Labs is the people that are reporting this, uh, and, and it's already been removed. So if you remove another 700 million from the circulating supply, well, that would be a big number. But none of it got removed. This is just for at this point, it's really just kind of pandering to a specific subset of the audience. It doesn't accomplish anything that's appreciable that you can see. So uh, I want to see burns, but I want to see it from circulating supply. I don't want to see it from supply that's already been removed from that reporting. It doesn't make any sense. Um, now, could those, if you don't burn them, could that seep back into the, the protocols? Yeah, it could. So it still needs to be done. But again, it's not attracting any sort, it's not adding any value uh, in the short term to anything that we're doing. So um, just re remember that. Uh, so right now you've got just Jesus is Lord not wanting to do it. And remember, uh, I believe that he really, uh, again, Jesus is Lord, both of his validators. I think that really he just wants everything to be as decentralized as possible. Um, I disagree fundamentally with a lot of the things that he votes on, but I understand some of it uh, and some of the reason. But I, it is also my opinion that he's trying to hold back this chain from progress. But some of that progress takes centralization. And if your argument is, well, we don't want that, we don't want centralization, then why do we have all nodes here? All nodes has 18, 13% of the available supply. They have an enormous amount of sway in their voting process. That's about as centralized as it gets. And oh yeah, guess who uh, Jesus's Lord rents his validators from? We're about as centralized as you can possibly be. So you know, when you make that argument, why are you not? Why are you validating with all nodes? Why? Because you're doing look, you know, you know the drill at this point. So um, we'll keep a keep a, we'll keep watching this, but I don't see that there's any kind of path forward. Now let's look at price action real quick. This is what I told you the other day. Now look, I told you that I thought it was going to come up here that 9587, maybe even wick up to that zero line, and then kind of settle in this 9000 range. Unfortunately, it didn't. It settled in the 8600 range. Now me being off 0. 0.00004. Uh, is that cause, or 0. 0.00004 points, is that cause for you to say, well, I thought you said you were always right. Man, I was close. 
I was close. You saw the structure. I told you that it would play out this way. And guess what? Even though I didn't get the exact number right, it's playing out exactly like I showed you over here. Uh, this is what, two, three weeks ago? I told you what would happen and it's happening. It's just not at the level. I, you know, I, I really, now the one thing that you should be concerned about if you are concerned is this is lower highs, which means that we are still consolidating to that downside. We haven't really had a breakout or it's potential that we haven't had a breakout. Now, the important thing was that we had originally had this kind of move up here as a breakout and then we had a back test right here, meaning that a breakout was imminent. Now, uh, one thing about these breakouts, uh, if you remember Pepe, if you remember a lot of these different meme coins, some of these breakouts that happen, they just kind of go sideways. They go sideways until it's time and then boom, that's when you get that magical sort of explosive move. Well, that probably is what's happening with Luna Classic right now. I assure you, I am watching this diligently on, on price action, and I will let you guys know if if I feel like there's any kind of breakout. Uh, but again, this breakout would come into this range, in my opinion, right here. A lot of sell pressure that you're going to have right in that range right there. So, um, you know, we're going to have to break above that uh, in order to start doing some testing. And remember, when you zoom out just a little bit here and you get over here to late 2023, early 2024, and you see these real sort of breakout moments here that happened up here, well, those are um, those are nice, but we got to retest that. Otherwise, they're going to end up invalidated, right? Um, now, uh, I, I think that we're in a, a decent position. So, you know, we'll just keep watching and see what happens. Now, as far as volume goes, 14 million for the day. Most of it on Binance, about 8 million uh, on, on Binance, 8.5 million actually. Market cap up 2%. Again, you don't need, you know, all you, all you need are buyers for the price to go up. Uh, volume on USTC down, but price up 3% uh, as people are starting to see. Hey, look, and, and by the way, it should be noted, there's a burn being worked on by Ceramic, and he's he's focused on um, in... in I don't know this to be, by the way, I don't know this to be true. I, I just know that what I'm being told. Uh, and it looks like he's working on uh, including everything that, that uh, all the burns, he's working on including that into his process because he, that initially was not something that was important, not realizing that that is a priority for a lot of people in this ecosystem. So uh, we just have too much supply. So uh, with that being the case, uh, he's gone back to the drawing board, if you will, 90% complete, working on adding a burn mechanism to it, and, uh, you know, we'll see how this manifests itself over a little while and, you know, whether or not it's worth having the discussion. But we should know very, very soon both what that looks like and then how it would manifest itself for us. So uh, shout out to Ceramic. I hope he's a good actor in this space and I hope that this is something that, that, that might work out to our advantage. Now, the other thing is staking is now at a new all-time high in staking ratio more coins in staking the higher the relative economic stability so uh total value locked if you will so uh you know we're, we're looking at a, a much better uh situation than we were uh, a while back so that's a, a good sign a brand new all-time high that means interest in long-term hodling uh, it, it tends to be the case also, um, why are they accelerating the burns? That's the question that people are asking right here, and they are asking it on Twitter and everywhere else. Don't forget, by the way, in six days, CZ Binance will be free. Uh, I do think that that's going to lead to a Luna Classic pump. Remember, this is the Luna Classic guy. Uh, and what will he do? Will he become part of Luna Classic? Will he uh, start talking about it? Will he, you know, will he contribute in some way? We're going to find out, and we're going to find out very, very soon. As far as burns go, $248 million over the last seven days. Nothing much to talk about there, um, and not a whole lot of burning going on right there. You can see uh, as you kind of move through here for the last couple of days, it's just been really, really small amounts being burned each and every day. So um, go to Terra Casino if you are looking for some risk-based gaming uh, to win. Remember, Pragmatic's giving away 400,000 USD. Uh, B Gaming is with Merge Up right now, so click on that link and you can do that one. Uh, Two million euros being given away by the World Poker League from September 20th to December 22nd. 1.2 million from Evolution euros uh, from Evolution from September 2nd to September 29th. Do you not? Do you hate money? You hate money? Is that the problem? You don't like money because you should be signing up at the link in the description down below, and you should be doing it today, and you should be playing your butt off. You know, put a million Luna Classic in here. And by the way, did I mention that Luna Classic, uh, that, that Terra Casino, top 100 Lunk Burners? Right there, right there. Terra Casino, 
one of the biggest burners in this entire ecosystem. Also, go to Terraport.finance if you're looking to trade some of these meme coins that I keep talking about. Juris Protocol. Uh, if you're, and by the way, I know it's not a meme coin, but we're calling it a meme coin. Garuda. We're going to be talking about that in just a minute. Um, as a matter of fact, if you want to trade any meme coins, go over here. Remember, we've got yield farming, uh, you've got liquid staking, uh, you, you've got a launch pad here, and you got a new launch pad. Something green is coming very, very soon. Let's see how that plays out. Now, let's talk Garuda. Uh, Garuda is uh, garuda.defi.org. Uh, just reached a new all-time high <coughs> with total transactions in a day, 425. Stake and support your favorite token on garudadefi.org garudadefi.org look like and this is it right here you can trade you can earn you can create uh fantastic ecosystem here is the um uh, here's their twitter account x account whatever whatever uh and over here is the link tree this link tree takes you to all of the different places by the way Air Force Lunk now available. Uh, I'm going to play this one day for you guys so that you can see it actually being played on screen. Uh, we also have Garuda the Protector, which is a beta. Load it onto your desktop and then you can run the game. Uh, and then you have Lunk Zombies. Now you guys know I've played the out of Lunk Zombies. We've played that one quite a bit. So if you guys are interested, you can go check that out. Go to Garuda uh, and uh, hit the links over here and, and check it out. By the way, BigBangX.io is the place to go. Air Force Lunk here. Put in your email address and your password and you can start playing right away. Not only that, there's the Garudaverse web. There's a DeFi marketplace. There's an NFT marketplace. And then you have the Telegram, Discord, and Twitter so that you can check them out safely and securely. Now, guys, uh, that's my time. Uh, we're going to get... Uh, uh, look, I think that we're you know, on the cusp. We're on the cusp of a breakout. It's just a matter of timing. And a lot of people, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see people in the comment section. They'll be like, uh, it's dead until it's not dead, you know. And then you'll have people who are like, you see this every day. Uh, well, yeah, that's because every day something happens. I mean, what are you, extra chromosome? You know what I mean? Like, what is wrong with you? So anyway, guys, check this out. Make sure you follow this video. Make sure you watch until the end. This is important for me. Uh, and remember, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow.